my friends and in today's video I'm sharing with you my uh, ba uh, back patio refresh. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Sonia and today's video took several weeks to create. I have been trying to get um, things done in the back patio, just washing and getting all these uh, this dog hair out of the crevices of my deck. There was dog hair on the patio. There was some um, weeds coming up so all of that needed to be done but the weather wasn't quite cooperating with me so i have uh, been doing bits and pieces for the last two weeks so here it is all put together so first thing that i did was torch some of these um, weeds i have to tell you this has to be one of the most satisfying things for me to do um, torching i love pressure washing but torching has definitely become one of my favorite Favorites. Now have a hose uh, nearby that you can put out if there is to be any fire started. Everything was pretty damp so I wasn't too too worried about it but uh, and I was di just directing my attention to the weeds. So I, I do this around especially around the fireplace um, fire pit patio because I hate uh, the little ivy that grows in between the stones so I was trying to get that all out and then I also did about half of my patio before I ran out of uh, gas so and this is what um, like I said this was one of the first things that I did I typically do a spring refresh and a summer refresh two different videos but this year I tell you it is middle of May and I think this is the first week that it has been actually nice and warm we had a really warm week the one for a couple days um, about two weeks ago and then boom it was gone so here's what the weeds look like now some of the weeds I did end up using this uh, Fisker wheat um, thingy to get them out because they were um, too big to to torch I would have to like burn it for a while so I went ahead in and gotten all of these big ones out of the garden as well as out of some of the grass um, another thing that I also did is I pruned my wisteria and boy am I glad I did that because let me tell you which you will see later on in this video the blooms are I have so many uh, this is the third year that it's blooming the first year I think I had two blooms then I had the fall last year I had about 10 and this year there are so many and I'm so happy because I've had this wisteria for about 10 years now this section over here we are planning to completely get rid of and just put river rock it just nothing seems to grow really well there so I wanted to get rid of it instead of just being able to grow weeds and as you can see the backyard is back to having some toys in it because I did restart my home daycare we do want to create an area here with some mulch to put all the toys in but for now this is how it is so I did borrow a pressure washer from my neighbor and ended up pressure washing this wasn't a very strong pressure washer my husband feels that I, he's gonna do a better job but I'll, all I really wanted to get rid of was the hair there was so much dog hair in here that it was ridiculous and I also um, pressure washed all the toys as well um, because um, I just find that when they're stored away and uh, s sitting around they get dirty and sometimes that's the only thing that takes it off and I also pressure washed all of the chairs because uh, they were covered in dog poop I also wanted to show you the new thing that my husband put up now he's not uh, he's very camera shy so I couldn't record him but we put this gate up so that way parents can easily come in through that door over there without dogs being too annoying and it kind of separates the dogs from there I do have this open uh, in the evenings and during the weekend so they can run around 
Now this is couple weeks, a couple days later, and I did go to a greenhouse and picked up. Actually, not a greenhouse. What am I talking about? I went to Costco and picked up some ferns and I put them out. I also brought out the furniture as you saw um, earlier and uh, set it all up. Set up my pots, added some ferns to it, and now the fun part. I wanted to add some decor, so I went ahead and cleaned. The table and then shopped my home and figure out what I want to put on so and I did decide this year to bring back the cushions for the chairs I just wanted that pop of blue color here I've had this lantern and I used it inside and I thought I'd bring it outside however I'm starting to think now that I had a couple days with it that maybe um, spray painting it black would be a good idea just to add that black uh, color to the table because I find the the stainless steel color or the aluminum color it's kind of clashing with the table let me know what you guys think what should I do but I think black would probably be nice I don't think any other color would uh, I think it would, would, would be too much but it is a lantern and I did put a jar of citronella candle in it with a lid so that way I can always turn that light that up when we're sitting around the table in the evenings I did notice that mosquitoes have been a little more peskier uh, past couple days so it's a good thing that uh, to, I'm going to be adding the citronella there I also do want to plant some plants around the patio that uh, that are um, annuals so that way they uh, fight uh, the mosquitoes a little bit so we'll we'll see about that that's probably going to be in a couple weeks once the frost uh, season is over Dad, oh my. This was last year's DIY that I created over on my DIY channel and I think it looks good in this little side table. And another DIY that I'm adding to my fire pit is this backyard pillow. Um, I love this pillow and uh, like I said another DIY from uh, my DIY channel. In the, between all of my prepping my patio my son did end up having fire so I was just moving those logs out of the way I did also add lanterns to my backyard which I did not show um, if you want to see how I set those lanterns up and all that stuff into the gardens I did share all of that last year in the video so but I love the way these end up looking at night they are solar they're from Costco pack of two so I love the I just love the ambiance that they create and here is my wisteria blooming so like I said this was about two weeks later from the time I pruned I it I love the way it looks I have been waiting for this day for so long of all the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter what so here it is all decorated and I just love the way it looks. I love all the pops of color, the blue and the green that the ferns and the pillows bring into this space. Um, and I added another citronella candle here because this is a fire pit that sometimes my, my husband and I sit around at night when we don't want to sit around the big one. It's just a little bit easier, but it's nice that it can be uh, kind of a coffee table or a side table when not in use uh, last year I added that wheel up as well and I that sign went up last year as well where it says the happy hour sign so I think this whole area is looking really good there's a couple more things that I would like to do to it I want to put hanging baskets onto the railing with some um, herbs in it and then I also want to plant a couple annuals just along the patio like I mentioned 
for um, the, the help fight mosquitoes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you considered subscribing. And don't forget to press the notification bell as well. So that way you're notified when my new videos come up. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And thank you all so much for watching. Been walking down the street so many times my feet.